Well, did you see the video where I burnt a hole in my wing? That's because I let the wing fall behind me and the wing touched my muffler and burnt a big hole. So what we're doing today is we are going to pack this up and uh, send it off to get fixed. I decided that I'm gonna put it in my smallest wing bag. Um, I'm sending it to Cloud9 and in here on the order details, it says I want to do a repair, annual inspection, which is uh, $175, a hole from the muffler. I'm sending the wing, a small blue wing bag and a small riser bag. Um, that is my real information there. Uh, send me cookies to the address. Make sure they're sugar free. Um, and then over here too, we got the annual inspection survey so this is uh, ozone roaster 3 it's a 28 meter it has about 150 hours on it i've only been flying for for 10 months i got it new i fly in humid stuff my hook and weight with all up is about 310 it's never been dunked in any type of water at all and yes i've gone to an siv course so i hit yes so i got my little tiny fly ozone bag which is difficult to actually put a wing in unless you fold it up really nice and tight. And I found a way of folding up really nice and tight that I would like to show you since I'm gonna be folding this up anyway. If you happen to text me with that cell phone number that you did see on the form, uh, make sure you let me know who you are and I have no problem texting back with you. Well, just in case you didn't see that last video, there's the burn. It uh, burnt all the way down to here. Could I fly this? I could easily put a patch over this and fly it no problem. Um, however, it has 150 hours. It needs its uh, annual inspection. And I'm buying another wing that will be here in a couple of days. So I'm not gonna mess with actually fixing it right now because it does need to be uh, checked out. I mean, you know, when you fly so much, fly as much as I do, you definitely want to make sure that everything looks good. So what I did is I made sure that the wing is uh, laid out. I untangled all my lines and now I'm going to put my risers in the riser bag. The easiest way that I've found to do that is to cross over where you clip in on the risers. I have the A's up and then I am going to fold this in two like that and then place this inside the bag with the folded part down it makes it really easy to pack up the risers i need to get this wing into this little tiny bag so what i'm going to do is i'm going to place the bag right there and i'm going to fold up the wing from the very end I'm just going to fold up this right along the leading edge, making sure that I keep all, all this uh, nice and tight, or as tight as possible. And I'm going to go all the way to the middle of the wing. All right. I'm going to do the same thing starting on the other side and I'm going to roll it up the same way oh my poor wing that's right you're gonna come back all nice and happy and fresh we're gonna have a porosity test make sure that uh, it doesn't leak a lot of air when I go fly this side here and pretty much inflates the wing so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take it from this side roll it up this way to push all the air possibly out and we are going to roll up uh, the lines here in a nice little rosette i'm going to lay that down i'm going to take this i'm going to bring it back to there now i'm going to fold up all of the lines like so, and I'm just gonna keep on folding it together 
like this and bring it all the way up to the top. Folding and rolling. It's easier with two hands, I'm holding my phone. And continuing to fold the sides in and rolling up at the same time. And now it's nice and rolled up. And now we're just gonna open up this side and slide this in. Forgot I had this in the bag, so that ties it up really nice. And the wing fits perfectly in there. And look, there's so much room left doing it that way that I feel very comfortable. Keeping my stuff sack here at the house, less weight. <laughs> 